Welcome back to Global Village. I'm your host, Buddy Kunana. And tonight's topic is Amazing Austria. And uh, joining us is uh, Vanessa Casareo. And uh, she is a scholar at the uh, MCI Management Center Innsbruck in Innsbruck, Austria. Welcome, Vanessa, to, Philipp, uh, to Global Village. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Um, you know, interesting. Um, your name is Vanessa Austria. Casareo. Yes. You know, so, I mean, because um, Christian and I were talking earlier about how a lot of Filipinos have the name, the surname Tirol in Austria. Yeah. So it's, it's really very significant and special that you went as a scholar to, to Austria. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yes. So, like, all my friends were telling me, I guess you're destined to go there because your middle name is Austria. Did they see in your passport when yes. you arrived? What did they say? Actually, they, they <laughs> find it weird. People. Like, do you own Austria or something? <laughs> yeah, what so did you say? Yeah, I said, well, <laughs> yeah, I just smiled. Right? I'm sure the immigration officer had a big smile on his face yeah. when you came in. Huh? Vanessa, yeah. Austria, Austria, <laughs> Casare. Okay, now, I love your dress. Thank you. I got it in t Tyrol, actually. Like, I, I attended, a, like, an event there, right? So, Austria is really, like, active, like, here in the Philippines, like, their traditions in the Catholic Church and everything. Actually, they're more traditional than we are, yeah. right? Yeah. So. And this is called a, a dirndl, no? Yeah, dirndl. And yes, yeah. and then I, I must say, you know, it's a, it's a lovely dress mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, you know, very colorful, very, very attractive and all that. Wonderful. Now, uh, question. Um, what was your experience like in, in, in Innsbruck? Well, it was, it was really amazing. Like, the experience was, uh, like, when I first arrived in Austria, I could still cannot believe I'm there, right? Like, I was the only Asian in my class, and the studies that I have, I took uh, marketing tourism, so I was with a, a master's class. So I was exposed to different nationalities all over Europe, and most of our professors are from all over Europe as well. So it was like, uh, you know, immersion to a different culture and like just immersion itself, you learn so much. It must have been a very dynamic experience for you to be among, you know, these exciting yeah, people it was, in a fabulous yeah. place like Innsbruck mm -hmm. and just to be in the center of all that, no? Now, um, how have you applied what you've learned there, your experience there, to what you're doing now in the Philippines? What do you do here? Well, I, I do some uh, travel and tourism, right? Like I'm, I'm planning to set up my own travel agency. So somehow it, it will help me like to, uh, I have a small like inn, like for travelers. So it helped a lot, like, you know, uh, getting some backpackers like to, to get into my place and do that. And with Austria's help and with my colleagues and classmates, I was able like to, you know, to cater like, you know, how, how to cater more globally in absolutely, that aspect. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, just being in Europe and, and being in Austria, there's really a lot of, you know, the tourism uh, strength of that country yes. and that area is, is just immense. It's and, beautiful. And right. as you said, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you learned so much in, in Austria. What was your most memorable, memorable experience in Innsbruck? Well, I cannot count. It's a, quite a lot. Like, I... I I had so many, well, probably my classes, because like I, my classes was like, y you know, I, I get to say this to all my friends, like, you know, the feeling of Dr. Jose Rizal or like, you know, Very good Austria here. as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, you know, like studying in Europe is like once in a lifetime opportunity, especially to Filipinos, because most of Filipinos doesn't really like go as far as Europe. They mostly go for the like the U.S. and other parts sure, of the world. So sure. this is amazing because they have uh, English because most of the subjects were in German. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But like we're, the masters were in English. Speaking Deutsch? Speaking Deutsch? Ah, no. <laughs> I'm Yeah, just I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. you, you should go to the good institute and then yeah. brush up on your German. Huh? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not far from here. I mean, it's, it's also in Makati. Mm -hmm. It's about, uh, I would say, two kilometers yeah, or even yeah. a kilometer yeah, from true. GNN. Yeah, I think Wonderful. it's one of my bucket lists, right? Thanks. So when I go back, then I could communicate more. Any right? plans of going back to Austria soon or in the near well, future? If there's an opportunity, why not, right? So, like, it's always some. Like, I, I fell in love with the, some of the Filipino community there. I'm Lovely still, people. Lovely I'm still people. in touch with them, and some of my classmates and some of my classmates even visited Manila, Bravo. and I was able to tour them around. Here. Bravo. <laughs> yeah. Vanessa, thank you very much, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you uh, again later on the show, perhaps when we have our cooking special. Okay. But uh, so glad to, that you're here in your special outfit, your dirndl. You look magnificent. You look fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So guys, stick around mm -hmm. because more of Global Village and Amazing Austria when we return. It's something very special because we'll have Austrian food.
food here live here in on the set in GNN. So stay tuned. <laughs>